Hi there everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to my channel. Amongst other things, I'm a reenactor and a jouster and today I'm going to be looking at the teaser trailer for the Lord of the Rings Rings of Power from Amazon Studios. So uh, let's have a look and let's have a look at the uh, some of the armour and, uh, and warfare stuff that's being shown there. Haven't you ever wondered what else is out there? Okay, so we're starting off with this um, shot of a cool city. If you know what it's meant to be, you could let me know in the comments down below. My first thought is the Grey Havens, but then I'm wondering if this might be uh, the uh, uh, Numenor, uh, you know, the island kingdom. But then having said that, there is a, a mountain in the background, so probably Grey Havens, I'm thinking. Maybe you know, maybe you can tell me. This is cool, I like this. Starting off with somewhere that is um, kind of, it's definitely telling us Middle Earth, but it's also um, somewhere we haven't been before. There's wonders in this world beyond our wandering. With moose backpack people. <laughs> this girl uh, makes me laugh because she's in rags, she's got the messiest hair ever, and she's got perfect makeup. But you know, that's uh, that's Hollywood. Okay, Galadriel, Galadriel making her way across the ice shelf here. Uh, I did wonder when I saw this, and you know, the close up on the gauntlet, whether this was uh, their way of saying sorry for the um, the Sauron or Nazgul gauntlet that we saw in one of the earlier posters. Uh, this, certainly this is better than, than the previous one so, and you know it's not perfect but a lot of armour isn't perfect so you know there are gaps a lot of original armours did have gaps the idea is to create as much protection as possible the flaring on the wrist isn't quite what I'd like but you know it's pretty well shaped um, She's got caps on the, uh, certainly a cap on the end of her thumb, which, uh, um, you know, I think that's quite a modern thing. I don't think you tend to see that historically, but pretty good, you know, uh, pretty good gauntlet. Here we've got now, um, she's obviously meant to be windswept and that sort of thing. And she's wearing mail, but um, the mail seems quite torn around the edges. Um, I can't imagine Galadriel wearing anything except for Mithril. So I don't know what's tearing her Mithril coif and her Mithril shirt, but um, it must be something pretty tough. Um, probably more than just a wind. Um, I, d I do like the mail. Um, you know, I don't think it's real, but the idea of her having an extremely fine mail shirt and, and coif uh, certainly fits for the character. Here we've got um, the new character catching an arrow and then shooting it back. Um, that's uh, uh, that's pretty pretty cool. It looks looks good in the um, in the trailer. That sort of thing is actually in um, some of the Viking sagas, catching a spear and throwing it back. Um, and obviously, elves are faster and, and quicker than us, so catching an arrow should um, should certainly be something they should do. I'm surprised Legolas didn't do it in the original movies, to be honest, because uh, uh, he certainly did a lot of uh, um, of interesting stunts, didn't he? Um, okay, let's carry on. Okay, um, Galadriel and probably elves riding across the fields. Going for a full-on gallop in uh, in full plate armor with barding. Um, I hope they're not having to travel too far. Um, I've spoken in one of my previous videos about how you know they always show galloping when they want people to go fast, but actually quite often galloping won't get you there faster because the, the horses just get tired out. And certainly, if you want them to fight at the at the end of the journey, you need to uh, to pace them. 
you know, unless they're shadow backs or something like that. Um, they appear to be wearing kind of 16th century plate armour, which is a little bit disappointing from my point of view. Um, I would have liked to have seen um, kind of some idea given to the evolution of armour in Middle-earth. And considering we're in the Second Age, you know, you could possibly go with uh, maybe male armour in the First Age and, uh, um, and a combination of, of male and scale, you know, kind of uh, in the Second Age, kind of like Roman and, uh, um, and similar Byzantine kind of armour moving into plate armour in the Third Age. That's just me being picky. Uh, it seems to be well done for uh, for the little amount that we can see here, uh, especially if we're just talking about a um, a TV show. You know, the the budgets are, are big, um, but armor adds up because you, you don't just have one harness per actor. You need several harnesses so that you can always have them shooting even when you you know pop rivets and they, they need to go for cleaning and stuff like that um and then you also need some for the stunt riders and stunt actors so it, it can really get expensive and these uh, uh these seem pretty good they they look okay probably plastic um but it's really quite impressive what they can do with plastic nowadays Okay, is that armour on that Elven King? Hang on. Uh, I don't know if this is armour or not. Fringy stuff. Mm, it's okay. Is that meant to be um, Caliborn? Or is that Gilgalad? I don't know. Uh, I don't think that's armour. I think that's just like cool flowy bits on shoulders. That's actually something you do see in uh, in paintings from the 15th century, kind of like tassels on the shoulders. Um, not often seen in reenactments, but something that you do see in pictures. Okay, the elven armour, uh, where they're kind of all in some big press against some uh, uh, some orcs. Pretty, pretty good. I quite like the Roman slash Greco-Roman helmet design. You know, you've got the um, the neck cover, you've got the cheek plates. They seem to maybe have a cutout for the ears, um, and uh, uh, but they've also got a nasal as well. So, kind of taking various different um, different ideas and then mixing them with fifteenth, sixteenth century pauldrons. Um, again. Not really a fan of the 15th, 16th century armour in the Second Age. Certainly not uh, paired with tower shields. It, it seems a bit unnecessary to have tower shields and full plate armour. Uh, but, I mean, that's a design choice. You know, I can't complain. They've made a design choice. It's something they wanted to do. Uh, it looks cool. Um, again, as far as movie armour goes, uh, it's certainly better than a, a lot that we see in TV shows and things like that, um, from what little we can see. I'll be interested when uh, when we see a bit more th things like where the waist is and, and where the uh, what the shaping on the breastplate um, looks like, because that really can... Uh, can affect how an armour works more than anything else, the, uh, the waist. Uh, and the shaping on the on the cuirass is really important. Okay, um, I'm pretty excited by this. Uh, I must say, when I first saw the um, Nazgul or Sauron gauntlet, I was a bit disappointed. Uh, you can find um, the video that I did about that on my channel. Um, but actually, the armor and weapons in this seem to be pretty, pretty good from uh, from this trailer. Obviously, it's only one minute, and we only really see the elves stuff. But you know, I'm not too disappointed when it comes to that sort of thing. Um, I'm not going to go into all of this whole you know casting controversy that's been going on. I know a lot of uh, people 
are very upset by it um, on both sides of the argument. Um, I'm not going to talk about it here. I would say please don't talk about it in the comments. Let's talk about the armour and the weapons. What I would say is that I don't appreciate the way that some people, I don't know if it's Amazon or just pundits who are chipping in, saying that um, anyone who's got a problem with this must therefore be racist. Um, I don't agree with that. I think you can have opinions for all sorts of reasons. Uh, and ad hominem attacks like that are not helpful to any sort of discussion. Um, yeah. Um, what do you think about the arms and the armour though? What is your... Um, what what are your thoughts? Do you prefer Galadriel's gauntlets? I think they're okay. Um, it'll be interesting to get some more more pictures and that when uh, when more detail comes out. What do you think about the plate armor choices that they've made? Uh, are you excited to see more? Um, would you have preferred to see more um, male and uh, uh, and lamella armor and stuff like that, like Byzantine stuff, like I would have. Um, do leave your comments down below, do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.